And I'm sure you saw it too and probably thought, thank heaven for Steve Croft and 60 Minutes and the report they did on the most wrenching conversation of all, the cost of dying, end of life medical care examined with courage and compassion. Marcia Klisch might have lingered for quite some time in the intensive care unit at Dartmouth-Hitchcock, but Dr. Bayok and his team had a number of meetings with her closest friend, Barbara Menchin. She said Klisch would not want to be kept alive on machines if there was no meaningful hope of recovery. It was decided the doctors would not try to resuscitate her if her condition worsened, which it soon did. She died a few moments later. This is a hard time in human life but it's just a part of life. We really have to acknowledge that we're mortal, get over it, and start looking at what a healthy, morally robust way for people to die looks like. And for his second Peabody today, Steve Croft. Thank you very much. Medicare spends about $50 billion uh, every year uh, for patients in the last six months of their life, and 20 to 30 percent of that uh, expense has no medical impact. This is really a story about the, the inefficiencies in our medical system and uh, also about a, a political process uh, that doesn't like to take on complicated and difficult subjects unless they can be put uh, on a t-shirt or on a bumper sticker. Uh, and, and, the, and the debate should not have been and should not be about um, whether uh, we pull the plug on grandma or take her off the machine, but whether grandma should be on the machine in the first place, whether she knows and whether her family knows what alternatives there are. Because many of those people who die on the machines die very miserable deaths. Uh, and I want to thank Andy Court and Maria Gabriolic, who this is her first story. I think she probably thinks that now she's going to be here every year. <laughs> Doesn't work out that way. And Stephanie Pilevsky, uh, also Ruben Heyman Cantor. And I want to thank uh, Michael Karsis, who had absolutely nothing to do with this story. But uh, I forgot to mention his name when I was up here earlier. <laughs> thank you very much.